What's going on folks, Earthmaster here, jumping in on this Thursday evening, September 17th, 2020 is the date, about 9.02 p.m. West Coast time here in California, and taking a look at the latest earthquake on the globe, right around the Puerto Rico area, 3.2 earthquake, uh, hitting the region there, not a whole lot of large earthquakes at the moment in that region, but uh, definitely a, a good size continuous swarm, if you will, in that area. 5.6 also striking near the Fiji Islands area a short time ago. Looking at the earthquake 3D globe here shows uh, pretty much a whole lot of old earthquakes except for over here around the Mediterranean Sea and parts eastward here where we've seen a couple four pointers uh, within the past couple hours kind of in a linear line there transporting some uh, migration of energy if you will in that area so not a whole lot of major earthquake activity to report here tonight on the update video there is some activity out there along the west coast that we're going to talk about here uh, in california and here's a usgs map from from those folks uh 2.5 and above a little bit more active than what we had seen last night here a couple earthquakes off of the san andreas fault system just inland towards Willits and also a uh, little earthquake out there near the geysers but of course if you bring in the all magnitudes you can see the hot spot of geyser activity there where that blue earthquake took place just a little bit larger than the uh, microquakes that we've been seeing there throughout the day very common in this area folks a lot of um hot areas uh underground geyser activity I mean this is very common sometimes we see hundreds of earthquakes here within this uh, area on any given day today it looks like about uh, uh, 28 or so and this area is just south of Clear Lake uh, you got Mount Kanaktai and whatnot in the region up here to the north not a whole lot on the San Andreas fault system but off of it towards Willits area a little bit of earthquake activity towards the Willits region and northward seeing a little swarm of activity up here microquakes there all under 2.5 it looks like maybe there was one 2.7 there in the mix near Covalo uh, we got a big fire up here just to the east here not quite into the Covalo area but definitely burned up quite of the uh, the Mendocino National Forest over here where I normally go uh, but now it's just a bunch of burned up trees um, so earthquake activity occurring here in this area looks like uh, just a lot of mountainous areas up here along the coastline or the coast range I should say something to keep an eye on there's about eight of them eight earthquakes there within that vicinity and um, just kind of monitoring it right now Ridgecrest area still seeing their average aftershock activity and a little bit more on the uptick here of earthquake activity up towards Mount Whitney. Mount Whitney sits up here within this vicinity where the arrow is. Uh, Lone Pine Fault System or the Owens Valley Fault System here where they had that big earthquake back in 1872, the rupture section. Uh, this is kind of where this earthquake activity has taken place. Not a whole bunch of large quakes, 3.1 included in that cluster of quakes that you see there on the screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so still kind of monitoring that region there for uh, uh, for potentially swarming activities. Nevada, obviously. See that linear fault system there, that rupture from a few months ago when they ha when they had that uh, large earthquake out there take place. Definitely looking uh, pretty active there for aftershock activity. Not a whole lot of notice uh, any other noticeable swarms going on out here. Still some activity up in Idaho. Pacific Northwest relatively quiet. Uh, when it comes to the swarm, we'll go ahead and check out the, uh, well, I should say trimmer activity on the west coast out here. This is from today. You can see uh, September 17th. Still some activity taking place out there in southern Washington and also parts of southern Oregon as well, seeing some trimmer. The activity up here to the north and also down to the south has halted for the moment when it comes to trimmer so basically we're still seeing just a um, 
subducting of the Juan de Fuca plate the slippage if you will underneath the North American plate in this vicinity now if that's the case uh, it's possible that we could see an uptick in the tremor in Central Oregon since we have not seen that take place during the past well, I don't even know the last time we've seen some Central Oregon tremor but during those five six days of uh, strong tremor activity we've seen it pretty much all up here to the north uh, into parts of northern Oregon and also southern Oregon and northern Cal but not a whole lot in Central Oregon that tells me right there that that's kind of uh, kind of being uh, oh bent up like a boomerang I guess if you will kind of it should be slipping we should be seeing some slippage here pretty soon if not that's a bad sign for those folks there um far as uh let's see here what else we got to talk about check out the rust globe here real quick i did mention it on the earthquake 3d globe not a whole lot to talk about here folks as you can see here on the map no major quakes puerto rico that's about the only area of interest at the moment there for that most recent quake 3.2 or at least the Dominican Republic area, I should say, where that 3.2 took place. This little swarming here near Puerto Rico. You can see all those uh, orange circles there indicating that uh, activity over the last 24 hours. And so, well, it looks like a little bit of activity out there in Oklahoma as well. A red circle indicating uh, the most recent quake of the question mark at the moment they're kind of guesstimating I guess the magnitude there not for sure how that preliminary system works with the USGS with the question mark but it is what it is a little bit of activity um, outside of Oklahoma City a ways and up here near Ponica City and northeast of Woodward there some uh, some activity going on probably due to uh, fractures and weakness there in the crestal areas of the earth Yellowstone National Park here, real quick, covering those folks. Really no words needed for this area. Pretty quiet, some wind event going on over here towards the east, southeast side of the park. You can see it showing up there on a couple different stations there on the southeast corner. Other than that, no microquakes, no swarming going on. Today in earthquake history, folks, check this out. An M7.1 earthquake near Rat Islands, Alaska, 1911, on this date in earthquake history. This is all they're stating. One of the largest earthquakes in the United States. That's it. So you go over here to, um, if you type, if you go to Google and type in this specific earthquake right here, there is not a whole lot of information on this earthquake at all that I could find. Um, Maybe somebody else can, but I cannot find a whole lot of information on it at all. Whether it's through Wikipedia or Google, this is about the only other place I find it. Right here, right here on the USGS site. So, did this earthquake take place? Who knows? According to the USGS, it did back in 1911. But uh, there's not a whole lot of information on it, folks. Check it out yourself. Type in, uh, if you want, go to Google, type in... Uh, Earthquake, Rat Islands, Alaska, 1911. On this date, September 17th, which is today. Not a whole lot of, of information on it. Although, on this date, back in history, there's quite a bit of information going on, including, uh, well, specifically, the United States Constitution was signed. 1787, on this date. I'm sure you've seen it floating around there on Facebook and Twitter and whatnot. So, anyway, since there's not a whole lot of earthquake history on this date, surprisingly, kind of odd, you know, for the most part, I uh, figured I would share that uh, other historical date of our country. So, all right, folks, um, I think I'm going to call it a night, I suppose. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I might do a little bit more cleaning. In the meantime, stay safe. Have a good night. Once again, covering the earthquake data out here. 3.2 out there in, in uh, what was it, the Dominican Republic region. 
not Puerto Rico area. Kind of looks like it's down there, but uh, specifically down there in the Dominican Republic area, a 3.2. So could see a quick pressure transfer out here. We'll have to take a look at it, uh, see where it goes from here. Not a whole lot out there at the moment when it comes to large movement. And like I said, no major swarms out there to report tonight. So stay safe, folks. Um, have a good night. We will chat you guys another time and another day. Peace out.